Hi, I'm Eric Treston, and this is Clean News Daily. Dr. Patrice Harris, chairwoman of the American Medical Association, agreed with Aetna's medical officer that there needs to be an increase in access to medication that's designed to assist treatment for those with substance abuse problems. Dr. Harris said that, quote, we further agree with Dr. Doug Nemec, Cigna's chief medical officer for behavioral health, that non-pharmacologic pain therapies can be a promising alternative for some patients. Dr. Harris is urging major insurance providers to increase the focus on more evidence-based care increase physical therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, psychiatric care, and other methods of therapies. In Connecticut, the home of some of the largest insurance companies, opioid prescriptions have decreased 9.3 percent from 2013 to 2015, which is a strong start. But as Dr. Harris points out, physicians need to be more active with treating their patients while using other methods. Insurance companies, on the other hand, must step up to the plate with their treatment coverage. Clean News Daily brings you the latest news concerning substance abuse treatment. From changes in treatment by insurance companies to new laws helping fight the ongoing drug epidemic and stories highlighting the struggles with substance abuse. Clean News Daily is your source for the top headlines relating to the world of treatment and recovery. Check our site daily for updated news and make sure to subscribe to our email list so you will always be aware of the top stories about the road to recovery and addiction.